Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. What would you say to 17,000 plus free AAA assets? Because that's exactly what you can get from this video. Now, some of you might be saying, yeah, duh, I know. I watched your video this morning, and I know. This is a complete repeat of the subsection of the previous video. So if you've already watched this morning's video about the FAB announcement, there's nothing new for you here. But this is, I'm making this because, quite frankly, this goes well beyond FAB. This is an opportunity to get 17,000 plus AAA quality assets that you can use in any game engine that you wish completely completely free, but you only have until the end of the year to do this. So how do you do this? Well, you head on over to Fab. Fab is Epic Games' new online marketplace. We're not going to get into much more details about Fab itself because, quite frankly, I already covered it. But what you're interested in here is this. Get all Quixel Mega Scan assets for free. So what is Quixel Mega Scans? It's a company that uh, was acquired by Epic Games, but I think it was back in 2019. Uh, they make real-world photogrammetry scans of thousands of thousands of materials and uh, objects and scenes and so on and they've been all made available for free so basically all you have to do is come to this page and click there should be a button here that says claim claim them before the end of 2024 and they are yours to use forever so how do you get them you head on over to the quixel profile now coming soon hopefully the integration is better in unreal engine and you can get them through other mechanisms but if you're using a unity or a godot or um, flax game engine or cry engine or something else you can actually get them all through the quixel store on fab i will show you how that works in just a second first a couple of disclaimers and details to go through so where do you find the assets you find them on your quixel profile they're working on a solution to add all mega scans to your fab library uh, easily manage them that's going to come later on. So what assets are included? All the Mega Scans on Fab are free to claim until the end of the year. This includes over 17,000 assets from the original Mega Scans library, along with 10 packs released at launch. Any Mega Scans published between now and the end of the year. By the way, if you do not claim them before the end of the year, they will become commercial assets again. So make sure you buy these, air quotes, buy before the end of the year. Under which license? The Fab Standard license, which does allow you to use them in commercial projects and does allow you to use them in other game engines and tools. Just one of those things to be aware of. And then what happens when the asset become paid. Any mega scans you claim for free on Fab are yours to keep under the Fab standard license even after they become paid. So that's the super important part. You get these before the end of this year and they are yours basically forever. Uh, will there be free after that? Yes, there will be free. Although keep in mind, these 17,000 assets will stop being free unless you buy them before the end of the year. And some of them are missing. Not a really big deal there. There's Some of them were deprecated or whatever. In terms of where they are, they're at the Quixel section of the Fab store. So you can see here, there's a ton of assets available. Well, there's 17,000 plus. Uh, so if you're looking for 3D objects that are scanned from the real world, uh, you are going to find an absolute ton of them. Now, I'm going to illustrate one of them. So I'll come in here and we'll search for walls like this. Uh, it will filter down. So these obviously contain something that is named wall. Uh, but what we have here, wall materials, a variety of different materials available. And here, Japanese mossy stone wall. I'm going to pick this one randomly because, well, not so random. I've already downloaded it. By the way, with Quixel now, there is a 3D preview of the object that you are grabbing. So here you can see it. Uh, like so, it's still uh, loading in. So this is a load, there we go, higher detail version of it. So you can see all of your assets available here. You can download them directly from here. So the first time you do this, you are going to have to agree to the terms of services. And then what you're gonna see here is you get a ZBrush format of it, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get FBX versions of it, or you can get converted versions of it. So if you're using Godot and you wanna bring it in directly, you could bring it in as a GLB, which I didn't scroll down when I did this the first time. So I actually went ahead and, um, did this uh, the painful way, which is by recreating the FBX. But you can actually, basically, if you want to grab the GLB version, boom, download it, just drop it into your game, and you are good to go. That's how easy to use these assets are. Uh, only downside is, again, they're only available through this uh, Quixel subsection of Fab right now. So once you've got those in, uh, here is an example of the FBX that I brought in. Uh, so it brings it down a number of different maps, more so than you're probably going to use, like a fuzz, a gloss, a normal a roughness, a specular. Uh, not sure what the high map is. Uh, then we've got uh, imminent occlusion, base color, bump, cavity, and displacement maps, as well as your FBX itself. <laughs> That's the map. Dumbass. All right, so the FBX file format is right there. So the file, uh, the, the 3D file itself, and then all of the maps, you're going to go ahead to use it. So here you can see brought into uh, the Blender uh, running cycles. So 
here it is. And I only set up a, a handful of the maps. I set up ambient occlusion, uh, normal, maybe displacement and color. So here you can see it running it in uh, Blender. You could obviously bring it into Max or Maya or ZBrush or whatever other tool you wish, or you can bring it into your game engine of choice. For example, here it is running in the Godot game engine. Uh, again, I only set up a handful of the materials here. So I, I actually didn't see the GLB version of it. So I set this guy up. So I set up the uh, Albedore color map roughness, uh, normal ambient occlusion and height map. So literally you just drop them into your scene and you are good to go. It's that easy to work with these assets. So, uh, and again, you can see the quality of them. Obviously it's a one-sided scan. So they didn't scan the back of it, but you get an idea of what it looks like. And again, I'm not using 100% of the, uh, the textures on this guy, uh, but it's still, again, it's photorealistic assets that were scanned from the real world, but generally cleaned up a bit and more ready to use in a real time environment. Some of these you may need to do uh, low, like lower resolution versions of that. But again, your game engine can almost always do LOD versions for you on input. For example, the Godot game engine does that. So when you import an asset in, you can have it generate LODs and have multiple different versions. And that's true of pretty much every game engine you ever imagine. Or of course, in something like Unreal Engine, you have Danite and don't need to worry about that crap in the first place. So there you can see this asset in Blender, in Godot, and of course in the preview, over here, obviously with different lighting as well. Uh, so that is one of the example assets you can get. So if you want to grab these guys, head on over to fab, fab.com, this part here, get all the assets for free, head over to that page, and then just click the claim button, and then they are yours forever. So all you need to do at this point in time, create an account and claim the stuff. And if you've already got an account, all you gotta do is click one button one time and 17,000 assets are yours free forever. Just make sure you do this before the end of the year or the opportunity goes away. All right, that's it. Hopefully you guys found that useful. Again, if you watched the earlier video, there was nothing new for you here, but I figured that this was important enough to, to dedicate a video to it. So some people may not be interested in Unreal Engine stuff, but this is something you don't wanna miss out on. So regardless to what game engine you use, sign up and get all these assets. I promise you, you will not regret it. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.